Okay, so for the sake of this explanation, we're going to represent the heart as a box with four compartments. The SAN is located in the walls of the right atrium. The SAN is, acts like a pacemaker, a pacemaker and it sets the rhythm of the heartbeat by sending out regular waves of electrical activity. This allows the right and left atria to contract at the same time. Electrical waves cannot directly pass into the right ventricle as there is a non-conducting collagen tissue between it. So instead, the waves of electrical activity is sent to the AVN initially. After it reaches the AVN, it sends the electrical activity to the bundle of His. Here there is a slight delay and this is to make sure that the atria have emptied before the ventricles contract. The bundle of His is along the middle and it goes all the way up to the apex which is at the bottom of the heart. The bundle splits after and the electrical activity travels down to, to the bottom of the apex and up the perkine tissue. Okay, so now let's look at types of stimuli. Stimuli such as pressure uh, can either be increased or decreased. This is detected by baroreceptors that are found in, on the iota or carotid arteries. Also, we have chemicals such as pH, which can be changed via the amount of oxygen or carbon dioxide in the blood. And these are detected by chemoreceptors, which are found in the iota, carotid arteries and the medulla. So if there's a high blood pressure or a high blood O2 levels, the parasympathetic neurons are activated and acetylcholine is secreted. However, if there's low blood pressure and low blood O2 levels, the sympathetic nervous system is activated and noradrenaline is released, which acts on the SAN.